What's up you guys? Sasha Boss here. And today I just finished Batman Killing the Joke. Such a good book. So I'm gonna review it, I'm gonna switch the camera angles, but I gotta do this because it's the mirror, the mirror image of the Joker taking a picture. So let's begin reviewing the book. So Batman Killing the Joke is about the size of my head. See? Um I just want to say, uh, that book was amazing. It's one of the best books I ever read. It's like my favorite comic book I ever read in my whole life. So there's the cover art right here. <laughs> I just love it. So, the book opens up as a day in Arkham Asylum. So, do you know what Arkham Asylum is? It's the prison penitentiary where Batman, uh, possesses the Joker. And they, and, and they just talk. They just talk about all sorts of random things. And... And then, uh, and then the story begins. Batman leaves. And then we have Barbara Gordon, a.k.a. Batgirl. Batgirl is in the story. She got shot by the Joker. She got shot right through the stomach. Batgirl. So Batgirl, Batgirl answered the door. And then the Joker appeared wearing a Hawaiian shirt and a camera. And then he shot Barbara Gordon. Barbara Gordon f fell down. And then she took Commissioner Gordon. Commissioner Gordon went to the fairgrounds. Commissioner Gordon then took her to the ride. And then he saw bad pictures of his daughter, the Joker has taken. Injured, wounded. Batman told, Batgirl told Batman where Commissioner where Commissioner Gordon is. So Batman rushed to the rescue, started fighting the Joker, and then they started to have a laughing fit. Such a good book. And then the very end of the book, after the Joker's out makeup, the Joker is not wearing makeup, he shoots down Batman, blood gushing everywhere. It was a bloody mess. Such a good book. And also, Bomber did not make the parents. So, guys, this is Batman killing the Joke. Such a good book. One of my favorite comic books I ever read. Super graphic, super dark. I just love the darkness aspects. I love the illustrations in the book. It's super good. DC did a phenomenal so, job. Some of my favorite parts in the book, as I tell you the plot, I just love all the Joker scenes and the Batman scenes and the Commissioner Gordon segment. It's my favorite part. The, the shooting of Batgirl was awesome. I just love the uh, drama, action. The whole origin story of the Joker was... Uh, Fulfilled in there with the Red Hood. I love that. Like everything is a scene in the book I'll show you. Uh, I'm sorry about spoilers and stuff, but uh, more than spoilers to come up soon. But I just want to show you that because it was black and white and then it illustrates the beautiful red, the glossiness of the Joker. Anything red in that scene pops. The artwork pops with contrast and the melody. It's just really cool. It's really artsy. I just loved it. Very dark. And I think it would be 17 in order to read uh, this book. This is one of my favorite, uh, this is my first DC comic book I ever read. I absolutely adored the book. It was one of my favorite comic books I ever read. And, uh, this is what the inside looks like. Um, so I'm going to show you some of my favorite scenes. So, one of my favorite scenes is the whole aspect of the, of rescuing Commissioner Gordon. And Batman battling off the Joker. And then the Batgirl scene. I just love the whole entire story. Very dark. I love darkness. And it's just super fun. I highly recommend this book if you're... I recommend it ages 17 and up. I re recommend it. Uh, there's not a lot of cussing. There's a, there's a couple of inappropriate scenes, but I don't really uh, go into details with this. The movies where it are, which I'm really excited to see. But this book is phenomenal, so I'll show you those scenes I'm talking about. See what I mean here? If you look at the panel on the page, don't pay attention to the text. You see the red, and then the black, and the, the black and the gray, and the white, like, and then it has a beautiful crawfish in there. See, it's all through this panel. Of these pages, you can see them eating. Um, also, uh, during the Joker's origin story, which I really like, there was this really cool scene um, of Joker just laughing. He goes, ah, 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 ah. And if I could show you really fast, so you can find it. Um, so many cool artworks in here. Uh, the back gave a dinosaur, which I like. Uh, I'll just skip ahead. I don't spoil the book for you. Just, I'll keep it at PG, but. Here's, here's the picture I wanted to show you. 
this is one of my favorite scenes right here, the whole Red Hood segment, like, but it's the acid, it just, beautiful adaptation there. I just love the Red Hood, the Red Hood is one of my favorite characters in the DC Universe, I've ever read this book, phenomenal. Um, this is the, the, the thing I really like about it is the Batman and Joker's relationship, because they get each other. The Batman's the only person that could break down the Joker to a T. No one else could do it but Batman, which I absolutely loved about this book. Phenomenal. So, hopefully you guys, please read this book. Hopefully you guys do like and subscribe to Touch Boss, and hopefully you guys, um, stay tuned for more videos, and maybe I read Bat Metal soon. Uh, so, I want to say thank you guys for watching, and this is another, uh, this is another episode of Touch the Boss.